Hi everyone, I'm Kyle from Urban Farmstead, and I've been starting vegetables from seeds for years, but I've always used natural light, whether it's been in a windowsill, in a hoop house, in a greenhouse, but this year, for the first time ever, I'm starting all of my seedlings indoor under LED lights. But these are not fancy LED grow lights, these are just regular LED shop lights from my local hardware store. In fact, most of this is from my local hardware store, and I'm going to show you how I put it all together right now. All right, here it is. Here's the rack, but it's just a rack. We still need a bunch of stuff. We need lights, we need heating pads, we need fans. So let's check out everything else I'm going to be using for this project. 6500K LED shop lights, seedling heating mat with thermostat, 12 feet of parachute cord, wood screws, about 3 feet of 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, a power strip, two outlet timers, at least one electric fan, and some zip ties. I've listed all of these items in the description below and included links to where you can find them online. I'm also using a drill, a PVC cutter, a tape measure, and a marker. You don't need fancy full spectrum grow lights for germinating seedlings or growing microgreens indoors. Those lights are only necessary for flowering and fruiting, and my plants will be transplanted outdoors well before that. What you do need are lights that are about 5,000 to 6,500 Kelvin and 2,000 to 3,000 lumens. Depending on where you buy these LED lights from, sometimes they come with sort of a shroud on them that reflects the light down and actually holds them, and often they'll have a chain or something like that to suspend them from. But these just come with a bunch of little clips, and these clips can hook onto anything, and then they clip onto the back of the light. So you can hook this onto a board or whatever you want. I'll be attaching three of these clips to short sections of PVC pipe that will allow me to join three lights together and will also act as my lowering and leveling system. I'll start by cutting two 15 inch lengths of this 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. Now I'll measure and mark where each bracket will be attached. I was able to use the screws that came with this hardware to drill right into the pipe. But actually, I found it a lot easier to use a drill bit to pre-drill the holes and then screw them in and mount the hardware. With all three brackets in place, it's time to clip in the lights. I made one more identical bracket cluster for the other side. To hang the lights, I'm using a 12-foot piece of paracord. I'll start by tying it off near the corner with a clove hitch. It is absolutely critical that you tie this exact knot exactly right here. Just kidding. Tie whatever you want somewhere in this area. And then string down the rope. And thread it right through the center of the pipe. Pull it up, give it one round turn around this rung, string it back over to the other side, another round turn around that rung, thread it back through the pipe, back up to the top, and tie it off. I'm sure there are a ton of different ways that you can create your own light suspension system, but I wasn't really able to find any other good examples through the research that I did, unless there were lights that already came with the chains where you can adjust the length that they're hanging from. So I came up with this because it was cheap, simple, and effective, and I think it's gonna work really well. So not only will these lights be suspended over the plants, but they'll be adjustable, which isn't as important when you're growing something like microgreens where you can keep the light at a consistent level, but with starting vegetable seedlings or any other seedlings, it's really important to be able to adjust the distance of the light. So as they're sprouting, I'll have the light pretty close to them, and as they're growing taller, I can easily raise the light just by undoing this knot right here. Laying out a little bit of slack to lower it one side at a time, just like that, or raise it up. Next, I just linked all the lights together in series with these pigtail wires that came with the lights. Mm -hmm. 
Then I attach the plug that will be connected to my timer. And I tightened up the slack in these pigtails with some zip ties. All right, I've got the light. Now I just need heat. And for the heat, I'm using this seedling heat mat and a thermostat. So this is a four foot by two foot heat mat, so it will fit the entire rack. I can do four trays on there. And then the thermostat is so that I can regulate the temperature to exactly what I want it to be. There's a little thermometer probe that goes in the soil. You set the temperature where you want it and it keeps it at that temperature. So I can adjust it for the crop that I'm germinating. Not all seedlings will require a heat mat to germinate, but many of them will, especially if you're germinating them in a cold room like I am in my garage. So these rad little fans are actually designed for cooling electronics like computers and other things that heat up. And I found out about them from another channel called On The Grow and they use them for their microgreens. And so they have these little pads on the corners that are meant for anti-vibration when they're sitting on a computer or another component, but you can just remove them and string a zip tie right through that hole. I'm using two zip ties to suspend one fan from the same rack that I hung the lights from. So I'll plug this fan and any other fan I add later for other levels into this one timer, separate from the timer that I'll be using for the lights, because I don't want them on all the time, but I also don't know if I'm going to have them on the same schedule that I have the lights on. And then I'll plug in the thermostat for the heat mat and the lights. For now, I'm only building out one level of this rack, but soon I'll be adding lights, heat, and a fan to a second level of this shelf, and there's plenty of space to grow on up to four levels if I choose. All right, it works. Well, at least the lights work. The true test will be to see if these seeds will actually germinate this season under these grow lights. This is my first time ever using grow lights and I think it's gonna work really well. If you have any questions about this system, feel free to ask them in comments below. I listed all the information about everything I use and how I put it together in the caption. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more like it and you wanna see the progress of the seeds I'm germinating on this rack this year, as well as updates on how well this is working and any modifications I'm gonna to make to it, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you soon. I'm gonna go start some seeds.